In our first lesson, we started learning the basics of creating a desktop application. We learned how to add a starting position, title and photo to our app. Let's run the code we learned in the last lesson and remember it again. In this lesson, we will create text boxes, labels and buttons. We will write the first and last name in the text boxes we created. When we click the button, we will see what we write on the console screen. Let's start. Create a label and set its name. In the previous lesson, we created a desktop application called Win. For this reason, we need to send the text boxes, labels and buttons we created to the desktop application named Win. Let's run our code and see what happens. Adjust the position of the label we created according to the X and Y coordinate system. Run the code again and see the position of the label. Create another label. Set the name and position of the label according to the X and Y coordinate system. Run your code and see what's going on. Now let's create text boxes to enter first and last name. First, let's create a text box for the name and set its position. Run the program and check the position. Create a text box for surname and set its position. Run the program again and check the position. Our goal is to see the name and surname we entered on the console when we click the button. Create a button for it. Set its name and position. Run the program again and check. I want to assign a task when we click the button. We will use clicked and connect methods for this. Now let's create a function to assign a task to the button. Let's print the texts we get from the text boxes with the print command inside the function. Thanks to this function, we will see the name and surname we entered on the console. Let's send the function we created to the click connect method. Let's run our code and see what's going on. Let's enter the first and last name and click the button. As you can see, we have printed the name and surname on the console. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow social media accounts to see more such videos and not to miss the shares.